that time of year, Christmas, you know, the holiday that that ends the nightmare, the nightmare, 2020. And as 2020 closes, 2021 opens, and a bright future for all of us. Hopefully the apocalypse doesn't start this year. Anyways, I'm gonna read some classic, classic Christmas stories for you all. Because I didn't have a Christmas special last year, I'm gonna make one this year. So here we go. This special is, which was the night before Christmas. Clement Clark Moore. Is that who the author is? Fine. Which was the night before Christmas. Went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas will soon be there. The children were all nestled, all snug in their beds. While visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her key sheaf, and I in my cap, I just settled our brains for a long winter nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I sprang by my bed to see what's the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave luster of May day to an object below. When what to my wonderings, eyes, should appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeers with an old little driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick more rapid than eagles and his, and his coursers they come and he whistled and shouted and called them by name now dash you now dancer, now prancer and vixen, on comet and cupid, on donner and blinson. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up through the house, top, the corners, they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, in St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and prowing of each little hoof. And I drew my head, and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was, he was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ash and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His drool little mouth with a dawn up like a bow. And the beard of his chin was white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. Wreath? Is that wreath or we? He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his hand soon ga gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Dread? Okay. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled, up, filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his fingers the side of his nose, and giving it a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to give his team a whistle, and away they all flew, like down a thistle. But I heard his exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all!
And to all, a good night.